Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like... You. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again. Especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and... Really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. Whatever I did, I'm... I really wish you'd tell me what's wrong. I give up. Let's book us in. There's got to be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Hello? Is anybody there? Ivy? Where are you going? Devil came through here. What? What is that even supposed to mean? We're not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. I knew you'd ruin it. You always ruin everything. Really? I'm just trying to warn you. Warn me from what? Bad things have happened here. Can you really not see them? No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... No! Get away from him! I... have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big, fat, flesh-eating maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. You're acting like a fucking psycho. I've had enough of this. Stop it right now. <laughs> You are enjoying every single second of it. 
If you could, you'd wrap your hands around my neck and squeeze hard. You'd find it so easy. That's enough, Ivy. <laughs> but why? Kill me. Kill me. Take a sharp knife and stick it right here. This is where my heart used to be. You wouldn't know, really. You never knew. I would never hurt you, and you know that. That mirror, Joe. That mirror isn't telling the truth. It belongs to the dead, so it will lie, of course. That's what they do, you know. They always lie. Honestly, Ives, I've got no idea what you're talking about. It knows our faces, Joe. There's one for each of us. Stop it. One for me. Ivy. And one for you. Are you done? We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know. We'll be fine, trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room, get some sleep, and I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Hello, may I help you? We have a, a little problem. My wife, she, she's not feeling too well. Is there a pharmacy still open? Oh my, not a headache, is it? Something like that. What a shame. But I'm afraid there's nothing I can do tonight, especially with the storm coming. There's a doctor staying in the hotel, though. He's practically a resident. We call him Dr. Z, a German chap. Talk to him in the morning. He might help. Right. Thanks. You'd like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room... I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. <laughs> 